What's up guys? Today we have a whole bunch of exciting Apple news to talk about today. So we're going to be starting with the HomePod price drop. So that's right. Apple actually reduced the price of the HomePod worldwide today. We'll be talking about that. We have some new information about Apple Pay for Transit, how it's being extended to a whole bunch of different countries. We have a very exciting iPhone 11 leak, which confirms a really exciting feature. And we're also going to talk about a new pair of Amazon headphones that are Alexa enabled that are going to be a competitor to the AirPods. So today is a very exciting day for the headlines. Let's go ahead and jump into the news. So let's go ahead and start with the first story today. So Apple actually dropped the price of the HomePod. It is now down to $299. The original price on Apple.com in US funds used to be $349. I think Apple getting the price of the HomePod below that $300 mark is very important. And I think when people see that the price now starts with a two, they might be a little more likely to get the HomePod. And I think this is what Apple is trying to do. I know right now the market share for smart speakers is very, very tough. I think Apple markets the HomePod more as an audio device instead of a smart speaker, just because the smart speaker market, I think, is owned 90% combined with Google and Amazon Alexa. So for Apple, it is very hard to get into that market since Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant already have so much of the market taken up. But Apple dropping the price of the HomePod is a definite step forward. I think more people are going to buy the HomePod now at $299. Here in Canada, before the price drop the home pod was priced at 449 and they took 50 bucks off here in Canada as well and it is now priced at 399 Canadian so they dropped it worldwide it doesn't matter what country you're in home pod got a price cut uh, depending on your currency the discount may mean a little bit more depending on what country you are in but the home pod did get a price drop I think if you don't have a home pod already now would be a great time to go ahead and buy one with the discount you guys can tell me in the comments what you think of this I already bought my home pod so I ended up paying a little bit more than it is priced at right now. I do love the sound quality of it, but do you guys think it is worth $2.99? You can tell me in the comments down below. So moving on to our second story, it's obviously not as exciting as the HomePod price cut, but we still have to talk about it. So if you remember at their event last month, Apple talked about how they are bringing public transit passes to Apple Pay via the wallet app in iOS 12.2. They mentioned how they are going to bring it to three major US cities later this year. But what you don't know is Apple actually launched it today in Singapore. So if you live in Singapore and if you take public transit, you can go ahead and download the corresponding app from the app store and then you can go ahead and add the public transit pass right to the wallet app in iOS 12.2. This is very useful and if you live in Singapore I can imagine this is going to be a godsend for you. Personally I don't take public transit so I can't use this but I can imagine if I took the bus or the train every day having my public transit pass in the wallet app on my iPhone would be much appreciated. So it's a very small market right now with only Singapore being accepted but Apple is expanding to Chicago, Portland and New York city later in 2019. So some pretty exciting news in regards to public transit in Apple Pay. So moving on to what is probably the most exciting piece of news today, we have a new iPhone 11 leak. So depending on how you look at this, this is either super exciting or a little bit depressing. For me, it's kind of both. I'm excited that the iPhone 11 will now have a triple lens camera as confirmed in this leak, but it also is a little bit upsetting that Apple is not going to be redesigning the back camera housing as we saw in a few other leaks this year. So we usually see a couple random iPhone leaks that are varying a lot in design from each other early in the year but when leaks start to actually look very similar to each other like the image you're seeing on screen now this is when Apple has actually confirmed what the design of the iPhone is going to be so we have seen this leak I'd say probably four or five times from different sources and every leak shows the exact same camera on the top corner of the iPhone we have a triangle arrangement of the cameras my guess is the top left camera will be the main wide-angle camera the camera on the right will be the super wide angle camera and the camera on the bottom because it is a little bit smaller is going to be the telephoto camera. So it's exciting because we are now getting three cameras on an iPhone, but it's a little bit upsetting because the cameras are going to be in a huge sensor housing in the corner of your iPhone. Once Apple adds the microphones and all the sensors and the flash, this sensor housing is going to be a huge square on the back of your iPhone just waiting to get scratched. 
I can only imagine how big the cutout is going to be on Apple's official silicone and leather cases. That's going to be kind of funny to look at. You can tell me in the comments below if you like this design. Personally, it's kind of ugly. I don't like it. I wish Apple is going to go with the other design, but I guess we can't change it now. This is what all the leaks are pointing towards. You can tell me in the comments below if you like this or not. So one final piece of news that we can touch on today is Amazon is apparently working on a pair of Alexa enabled wireless earbuds, and these are going to be direct competitors to Apple's AirPods. So we are now seeing other companies finally catch up to what Apple is doing. We saw Samsung with their wireless headphones released with the Samsung Galaxy S10. And now today we are getting reports that Amazon is also working on a pair of wireless headphones. I think it's going to be very hard for these companies to compete with Apple since the AirPods were were released I'd say two years ahead of their time where no other company had a product even similar to the AirPods. So now that the AirPods own so much of the market, I think it's going to be very hard for other companies to compete, but we'll see. Amazon is apparently working on these headphones and we'll have to wait and see what they come out with. We did see Beats come out with a brand new pair of wireless headphones. Those are a little bit more expensive than the AirPods, but Beats is owned by Apple. So now that we have other companies working on true wireless headphones, we'll have to see how successful they'll be when they compete against the AirPods. All right, guys, so that is your news for today. Drop a like on this video. Tell me in the comments what you are most excited about. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael. I'll see you in the next video.